Hey guys, uh, my name's Mitch. Been learning guitar for about six months now, and I wanted to do a video just to share tips for someone just starting out, like I was about six months ago, and stuff that's worked for me, stuff that hasn't, and yeah, hopefully just give you a bit of an idea if you're looking to start playing guitar or if you're kind of on the fence yeah hopefully I can convince you to start so the first tip I have is have an intention for why you want to learn uh, for a lot of people this is probably easy they just want to be able to play their favorite songs um, maybe you want to get into a band um, might just be a fun hobby which is my main intention for why I started just a new skill to learn and yeah play my favorite songs my second tip is get yourself a half decent guitar you don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on you know the top of the range best guitar um, I found about four to five hundred dollar range Australian I'll put some conversions on the screen um, that's, I think, where you find like a guitar that can, you know, play some, like the tune sounds good, but yeah, like if you get a really rubbish guitar for like 40 bucks from the bloody Audi or <laughs> wherever, it's going to be really bad. So get yourself at least a half decent guitar. Um, mine's a, what did you say? It's a W18 Morris, it's a Japanese one from the 70s, which I heard the timber is really good on these, like it's proper timber. Yeah, so I can recommend this one if you're looking for something like that. And yeah. Now my third tip is pretty obvious, but learn songs that you like. Don't, I don't, I don't tell you how to do it, but I found for me, I started, um, watching a few courses and after one or two videos I thought eh like I get it but like I don't even like these songs so one of the first songs that I learned probably the first is Perfect by Ed Sheeran which is really easy um just G E minor C D pretty simple Try and find some songs you like that are pretty simple. Ed Sheeran, someone that I like. It's got plenty of songs that are quite easy to learn. And yeah, have fun. That's the main thing, isn't it? You wanna have fun playing guitar. It's not meant to be something that's boring. Challenging, yes, but not boring. Next tip, I think it's number four, is consistency. If you wanna learn how to play, you got to practice consistently. Doesn't mean that you have to go for hours each day. On average, I've probably practiced maybe 10, 15 minutes a day, and it's been a week or so where I don't play, and then a week or so where I really get into it. But if you can kind of maintain the consistency, you really start to progress. And on progression, this I'll put this tip into this one. When you're learning a song and you're trying really hard, maybe you're trying it for an hour and like you just can't get the chord changes, just chill, come back to it the next day. And I have found this, that I've practiced something for an hour and then I've just taken a break. And then next morning I've got up and suddenly I can just like start playing it and something about your brain that I forgot but how that works. But yeah, that's <laughs> just a tip if you're getting frustrated. Okay, tip number five, I think it is now. This is a really handy one that I learned pretty quickly and I'm thankful that I did. It is, you have you keep one finger on the same string, your anchor. So you can do the A chord, if I get up close here, 
the first finger on the third string? Fourth string? <laughs> I'm still a beginner, I have no idea. I keep forgetting which order the strings are in. There, you can use that anchor for A to D. So you can go A, keep that finger there to D. Keep it on, swing it back, and you can play E. <laughs> and yeah, um, look it up. There's a course, a 10 day beginner thing. I think it's Andy Guitar. I'll link it below. That's one that I use. That was really helpful in teaching you the basics and also helping <laughs> helping me keep motivated because at the start it can be very tough on your fingers this is probably another tip but i'll just put it in here your fingers they will be sore you don't they're gonna have lines on them if that's happening that's normal over time um your fingers just build up a bit more skin on there and you're able to press down harder but just meet yourself where you're at. If you, it's really hurting, just take a break. Uh, that's what I did. If it was really hurting, I'd just stop for the day. Maybe even take a day or two off and just come back to it when your finger's feeling a bit better. And like I said, in the consistency tip, just keep coming back to it, have a break, keep coming back to it, and yeah, you'll get there. Okay, this may be the final tip now, which is if you're getting the the buzzing, it usually means you're not pressing down hard enough. And I know it's like really tough to start with, like your fingers hurt, like I said in the last tip. But just try and press down that a little bit more. And even if you can just get to if like two or three of them are buzzing, Maybe just focus on one of those fingers. Just try and press it down. And, you know, that's buzzing. Just press it down a bit more. And you got it. Yeah, so the buzzing, really common. I still struggle sometimes when I'm quickly changing chords. They'll still buzz, because I'm still a beginner myself. Now I'm just gonna play some tunes just to show you where you could be in six months time if you keep practicing which it's not that good but i'm getting there
so that's it for today's video hope you were able to learn something and if you have any other tips put them down below i'll be reading them i'm always willing to learn myself and yeah see you next week